Well, the flood crisis in New South Wales has prompted a warning to Sydney residents about funnel web spiders looking to move to drier ground. Joining me now is Dan Rumsey, the uh, head of spiders and reptiles at the Australian Reptile Park. Dan, good morning to you. So what's going on, man? What's going on with all these spiders about? Yeah, lots of rain and now obviously a few warm days and it's obviously going to flush the spiders out a bit, in particular the Sydney funnel webs, they'll be out and about, the males uh, moving around looking for uh, females as well. So yeah, we should see a fair bit of funnel web spider activity over the next week or so. Should we be worried about that? Yeah, definitely. Well, look, to be honest, they're potentially one of the most dangerous spiders uh, on the planet, not just here in Australia. So thankfully, no one's been killed by a funnel web spider in Australia for a very, very long time. But it's always good to be vigilant, uh, teach the little ones not to play with spiders, of course, uh, but important for the reptile park too, because we milk the spiders for the production of antivenom. So whilst it's uh, a little bit scary having them out and about, it's also good for us too, because we'll probably see a few more come to the reptile park for our antivenom program. So, so what do you do? What, what if you... What if you've got, you know, hundreds or looking at this, some of these pictures, there, there are thousands of them that are emerging in, in, in just one spot alone. So what do you do about that? Yeah, so a lot of the spiders and a lot of the videos that have gone around, remember in Australia, most of the endemic spiders to this country aren't actually dangerous. But in the case of having heaps of spiders around, if you walk around your backyard, just make sure you're wearing a nice, like, covered protected shoes, pair of boots. Um, that's a good method, uh, particularly if you're walking around at night, because that's when male funnel webs will move around a bit. Uh, and do remember that they're going to be looking for dry ground, so they have no idea what a backyard or a house is, so potentially they might enter your homes as well. But it's just a good reminder to teach your kids about and yourselves about the spiders that might be endemic to your area, particularly the dangerous ones. So in Eastern Australia, we do have over 40 different species of Sydney funnel web, oh, sorry, a funnel web spider. And in the greater Sydney region, of course, we've got the Sydney funnel web spider, which is one of the most dangerous. So just keep an eye out. And if you can catch a male funnel web for us, uh, we do actually still need them at the park. Right. So we're like putting a, putting a cup or a jar over, over the top of one, doing that old trick. Yeah, that old trick works for huntsmen. In case of a funnel web spider, I'd always try and keep your hands approximately 20 centimetres away from the spider. So like a large coffee jar or a stainless steel spoon, plastic ruler, place the spider in the jar, get it to the reptile park or one of our drop-off centres and we start milking it. And it sounds a bit funny, but it, it does contribute <laughs> to saving people's lives every year. So, so what do you do if you get bitten, Dan? Yeah, very important. Um, try and stay calm. I know, it's, I know it's hard. You've been bitten by a funnel spider, but you do have to stay calm. And remember the first aid procedure, which is the same for our front fang venomous snakes. So uh, most people are bitten on the hand, wrist, ankle, foot. So you want to immobilise that limb, apply a pressure bandage, and of course, very important, make sure you go to hospital, seek immediate medical attention. Is it is it going to matter in, in what particular suburb that you live? I mean, are these nests, are, they, are these large amounts of the spiders, are they more likely to be in those areas that flooded, uh, those areas that are probably more regional, or will they also be in, you know, built up neighbourhoods as well? Yeah, we, we get spiders from all over, whether it's from the northern beaches up to southern parts of Newcastle, right to places like Hornsby, we get a lot of spiders as well. Uh, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you're in the, in the bush or even in built up areas, particularly if you're back on the bushland, there is that chance that you might come across something like a funnel web spider. What are they in the evening uh, when we're asleep? What's their activity then, Dan? Uh, so during this time of the year, male funnel webs are moving around because they're trying to mate, but also too, you might have, uh, well, generally if it's a female funnel web, she'll just stick to underneath her little log. She waits for food to come to them. But when we saw these floods and all these spiders kind of emerge from the ground, it kind of reminds us that they are, they are there. It's just the water that's brought them out. So yeah, if you're walking around at night, you should always wear, be wearing closed in shoes. Um, if you're playing yeah. in the backyard at night, same deal, because you know, you never know. And obviously we don't want anyone to be ever bitten by funnel webs, but it does happen. Uh, but thankfully, as I said, no one's been killed by funnel web in yeah. a very, very long time in Australia. Especially check your shoe. If you leave your shoes out, out outside and uh, you know, you leave to go to work at, at uh, an ungodly hour of the morning and then you just throw your foot in there, that's taking a risk, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I, I work with funnel webs every day and every morning I still forget to check my shoes, but I, I should have that habit by now, but even I forget to do it. So, yeah, it is a good yeah. tip, particularly if you use, just leave your shoes at the front door or anything like that. You don't want any creepy crawlies going in your shoes, so tap your shoes out every morning. Well, there you have it. Dan Rumsey, Head of Spiders and uh, Reptiles at the Australian Reptile Park. Uh, they do need those spiders, so um, do it in a safe way. If you've got the ability and the courage to be able to do that, I certainly don't. But, uh, but best of luck, everyone.